here in my stand mixer, and you, could, you can do meringues by hand, but it takes a little bit of time. I've got four large, or you could use jumbo egg whites at room temperature, critical, because you'll get better volume when they are mixed. And they are in a stand mixer with a whisk attachment, because we want to beat a lot of air into the meringues. Meringues are nothing but egg whites and sugar. So you start by getting them foamy. And while they're getting foamy, I'm gonna tell you we're gonna be using super fine sugar because it dissolves more readily. You're gonna have to listen to a little noise while I do this. You wanna do this on high speed. So you get them foamy. And then at that point, you can add some cream of tartar. Cream of tartar helps to stabilize those egg whites. If you didn't add the cream of tartar, they would fall. If you didn't have cream of tartar, you could use a little bit of salt. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in with that. And then it's merely a question of adding the sugar and when to add the sugar. So let me show you how that goes. I'm gonna stop this for a minute. Just to show you where we are. You see, we're at the soft peak. It almost is falling off my spatula, but not quite. So this goes back down. And we begin now, at this point, to add the sugar of sugar to the four large or jumbo egg whites. Now you have to add it a little at a time. I just kind of gauge it. About a tablespoon at a time going in. So you see I'm getting this in a little bit at a time and now I'm going to stop this again just to show you. Just to show you where we are, what we want to have here are meringues that are shiny and glossy. We're almost there. So I just need to put this back down and continue adding the rest of the sugar. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of almond extract. vinegar, white vinegar, to help stabilize those egg whites. All right, looks good. And remember, when we started, I told you that you never, never want to mix rain with meringues because a humid day is not a good day to make meringues. You want to make them on a dry day because the sugar will absorb the moisture and that is not good. So now you take this over and you see how nice and thick and shiny and fluffy they are. We have a sheet. Try to put a little water underneath this one again just to hold that. And we've got our meringue, again, this time in a tipless bag. And you just pipe out little puffs, puffy meringues. You can do all kinds of cute little designs or just let them puff up in the oven. You could add fruit to this, dried fruit. You could add nuts, you could add chocolate chips. There. Everything is correctable in the kitchen. 250 degrees, they go in the oven. When they come out, here's one that I did with a tip. See how nice they look? And here's another tip. A meringue should be hard not soggy, should be very dry inside. So, now you know 
all there is to know about making meringues.